Hello, good evening on Thursday, just turned six o'clock. I've got to do a Zoom in 15 minutes. I uh, I decided on a song today because it's really simple and um, I thought, yeah, I can record that, three parts and um, do a little video. I've had like an hour to do it all and I've just, it's really close harmonies and um, I couldn't, I couldn't get it quite in tune. And it just um, uh, it, <laughs> through doing these videos, um, probably obviously, I am confronted with the sound of my own voice, and um, and I'm I'm sure some of you are having this experience as well. That um, I mean, I do sing a lot on my own anyway, recording, but it's uh, it's all i'm hearing at the moment and um i'm not kind of getting that experience of singing with other people and hearing my voice blending with other people and experiencing the endorphin rush that you get when it all clicks and it works and it sounds beautiful and the hairs on the back of your neck start standing up and all that experience um that we go through and you know your emotions well up and all those emotions that we go through, that we all go through, um, or I assume we all go through, which is why we keep doing it, um, when we're actually in the choir and I'm just hearing the sound of my own voice. And I'm having moments where those voices in my head are so critical, um, I just want to pack everything up, never sing again, you know, especially not where other people can hear me. Um, and it was just one of those. I was listening to the back to the recording, and it was just a, it was just a little bit flat on on two two um, tracks, but it just it just meant the whole thing sounded a little bit wonky and and um, yeah, and it's partly about uh, partly about not being warmed up very well today. Partly about it was the soprano especially that was challenging for me. So singing right on the edge of my range um which is not a good idea when you're not warmed up don't do what i do um and i don't know maybe i'm tired maybe you know i'm sure our voice the same with every other aspect of our body has good days and bad days um and maybe today was just an off day it's interesting a couple of people have contacted me in the last couple of days saying that they don't feel the voice is as good um or that their voice is a bit off at the moment so i you know maybe there's something collectively that goes on who knows anyway it also made me reflect on the fact because i'm not going to pack it in i'm not going to stop singing and i know that most of the time i sound all right you know bearable at worst um so it when that happens you know sometimes it's a fact i'm a little bit flat and it's a little bit out but a lot of the time it's just an opportunity for that little voice in your head that goes oh and you couldn't sing told you um to kind of wake up and start having a go so it's really good opportunity when that happens to go no actually that's not true i can sing i'm just having an off day or i'm just having an off moment or, you know, I just need to warm up or re-pitch it, which is what I've done with the recording. I've brought it down a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to offer that, because I noticed that going on in my head, to you, just in case you happen to have that little voice that sometimes pops up in your ear and says, oh, don't think you can sing very well. We're all hearing our voices much more than we usually would do um, at the moment, and that's going to provoke that inner critic much more than it normally would which may be a lot anyway um some of us have got very very active vocal inner critics so just you know maybe play with the idea of whenever that voice starts um just saying actually i can sing or if that's too big a thing to say to say i really enjoy singing doesn't matter what you think whether i can or not I really enjoy singing or I really like this song you know find something 
to say to that voice um and it really works if you just if you if you get into the habit of whenever that voice starts just saying but i'm good at singing or but i like singing then after a while that kind of goes on automatically in your head and that critic just kind of gets a bit quieter and quieter so i just thought i'd give you that as a little uh, exercise from my uh, psychology days therapy days it works it works with any little story that your inner critic comes comes up with um you know some stories are harder to shut up than others but it does um work if you practice it anyway lesson over here is yo nana which is a very simple song it's only got uh one word which is yo nana which is a made-up word the song was written by chris blanchard who is a uh, natural voice teacher who had um a member of her group who died and the group she wrote this for the group to sing for that lady um so it's it's a yo nana is a made-up word um and i've done this with most of my singers most of my groups uh, it's a very beautiful song um obviously written as a memorial song for somebody but you know it's just a lovely peaceful song um and i like singing it it's another one of those ones that i like singing when i need calming and soothing uh physiologically so i'm gonna sing it a little bit lower than it's written you may like to take it up again Yo three parts. So I usually put the bass and the tenor on the bottom, alto in the middle and um the other one. Them high up singers up the top, sopranos. Yo, so this is the low part. Yo nana, yo nana, yo nana hey. Yo nana, yo nana, yo nana, hey, sing it with me. Yo nana, yo nana, yo nana, hey, yo nana, yo nana, yo nana, hey. Lovely. And then the alto part, the third up. Yo nana, yo nana, yo nana, hey. Yo nana, yo nana, yo nana, hey. Sing it with me. Yo nana, yo nana. Yo nana hey Yo nana Yo nana Yo nana hey And the soprano part exactly the same as the alto part but a third up again Yo nana Yo nana Yo nana Without further ado, I shall play the recording of all three parts. I have now four minutes to get to my Zoom session. Here you go, Yo Nana. Yo Nana, Yo Nana, Yo Nana, hey. Yo Nana, Yo Nana, Yo Nana. Yo nana, 
fabulous i hope you enjoyed that one and i'll see some of you in about two minutes on zoom and uh the rest of you i shall see or you shall see me tomorrow okay lots of love wherever you are however you are bye for now